Why does the universe exist? But in asking, we assume there must be a reason. We assume causality. What if those assumptions are the very trap? Stephen Hawking proposed that the universe should never have existed, that its existence is less a miracle than a necessity built into the fabric of reality itself. That time itself began within the cosmos, so there is no outside to reach. Tonight, we unravel that paradox. We will walk through how the laws of physics might demand creation as a property of nothingness, how existence becomes its own origin. Hawking argued that time and space are intertwined, inseparable. At the Big Bang, not just matter, but time itself began. Thus, the question, what was before, dissolves into meaninglessness, because before requires time. Nothing was around before the Big Big Bang. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, space and time together form a space-time continuum or manifold which is not flat, but curved by the matter and energy in it. Litton approach, the history of the universe in imaginary time is a four-dimensional curved surface, like the surface of the Earth, but with two more dimensions. One can regard imaginary and real time as beginning at the South Pole, which is a smooth point of space-time where the normal laws of physics hold. There is nothing south of the South Pole, so there was nothing around before the Big Bang. One of his most startling assertions, time didn't exist before the Big Bang. If time began with the universe, then no external cause, no prime mover, can precede it. But a universe only existing in time needs an origin. Hawking proposed that laws of physics, especially gravity, provide that origin. He wrote, because there is a law such as gravity, the universe can and will create itself from nothing. In his vision, positive energy, matter, is balanced by negative energy, gravity, creating a net zero energy universe, a universe that emerges from a perfect balance of absence. This isn't magic, it's self-consistency. Physics permits it. The universe is its own explanation. We often think creation must come from something else. But if nothing already contains the laws and potentials of physics, then nothingness is fertile. With Jim Hartlow, Hawking formulated a bold idea, the Hartlow-Hawking No Boundary proposal. In this model, space-time is finite, but without boundary, like a sphere's surface with no edge, no beginning, no end, no external time, just a smooth, closed geometry. Thus, the universe doesn't begin with a bang at a point. It emerges like a rounded hill, with time as one of its curved dimensions. Jim Hartle and I proposed a no-boundary condition the boundary condition of the universe is that it has no boundary. Okay. In order terms, the Euclidean space-time is a closed surface without edge, like the surface of the Earth. In this view, there is no singular boundary where physics breaks down, no cosmic wall. The universe simply is. So we confront the paradox. Time begins with existence. Existence needs no outside cause. Asking why is meaningless, in Hawking's words. The question of what happened before the Big Bang has no meaning, because the concept of time has no meaning before the Big Bang. This is not nihilism. It's a different logic. We are not searching outside ourselves for answers. We already contain Hawking's universe is self-originating, a loop of cause within itself. The laws of physics determine that such a universe must exist. If you alter those laws,
the universe would collapse before forming. It's a cosmic Ouroboros, creation feeding on itself. Existence is not optional, it is compelled. To quote him, the universe is its own cause. Here's the crux. From classical intuition, the universe should not exist. There should be nothing before, nothing to create. Yet existence emerged because the laws allowed it, demanded it. In Hawking's view, the universe does not need a designer. Its existence is not contingent. It's built in. We are the consequence of the only possible cosmic solution. This is cosmic horror and cosmic poetry combined. If existence is inevitable, where does purpose lie? We are not accidents, but emergent properties. Strange, rare, conscious reflections of the cosmos. In another of his quotes, we are just an advanced breed of monkeys on a minor planet of a very average star. But we can understand the universe. That makes us something very special in that tension between insignificance and understanding lies our meaning. Even though the universe might shouldn't exist, we are proof that it did. And in that proof, there is beauty, even defiance. Many reject Hawking's logic, seeking external causes, gods, or design. But to do so is to impose limits on how we think. The cosmos may be stranger than our philosophy, Hawking often said ideas change when we change how we think. Our language, our logic, they're not absolute. In that sense, his paradox isn't final. It's an invitation. An invitation to reconsider our place, our questions, and what we expect from existence. What did you think about today's journey? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. We've got more strange, unsettling, and fascinating stories from the universe headed your way. Until then, stay safe and stay curious.